Good morning. How can God's people become immovable? We're at Jeremiah chapter 4, verses 1 to 4. If you will return, O Israel, says the Lord, return to me. And if you will put away your abominations out of my sight, then you shall not be moved. And you shall swear the Lord lives in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. The nations shall bless themselves in him, and in him they shall glory. For thus says the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground, and do not sow among thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord, and take away the foreskins of your hearts, you men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire and burn so that no one can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Now we've come to something hopeful. Look at the situation. God's people have been extremely unfaithful, cavorting with abominations. But God's promise is so gracious. Return to me, he says, put away your abominations, and I will make you immovable. What a deal. Surrender everything, receive everything. But what we're talking about here, what God's talking about, is complete commitment to him. The repentant sinner will not only swear that the Lord lives, but that he lives in truth and righteousness and judgment. He is righteous in all that he does. No questions remain about his faithfulness. But there are conditions. Did you see what they are? Break up the fallow ground. Don't be sowing among thorns. And circumcise the foreskins of your hearts. Now, fallow ground means uncultivated ground. So, break up your fallowed ground means to uh, get in and cultivate some more space, make a bigger garden. You're looking for more fruit, more vegetables. You need to keep on growing in new areas. Then you have, don't sow among thorns. When I moved to the state of Washington, I, uh, we put in a garden there, and we had to uh, take out a whole bunch of this knapweed. This stuff goes down, uh, the roots go down three feet. And uh, let me tell you, the place was... We put in a garden, and, but there was a lot of work, and it, we had to work at it for years because that stuff, it just keeps, you find stuff you miss. But here it says, don't be sowing among thorns. You've got to get the thorns out. And then it says, what about here, um, circumcise the foreskins of your hearts. So when we go back to the earlier references to that in the Bible, we find again that this means to be joined in with God in his covenant, to just receive that I can't do anything in my flesh, but God has the power, the strength, God will come through. So that means a full commitment to God's covenant. Cease to trust in self and put all of your trust in God. Enter into covenant with him and rely upon him wholly. This is all good advice for people groups and individuals. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to break up the fallow ground. We want to make sure we don't sow in with the thorns. And we want to make sure that we're not trusting in ourselves, Lord, so that we would circ that the foreskin of our heart would be circumcised. Lord, this is wonderful advice for groups, and it's certainly wonderful advice for us as individuals. Please, Lord, uh, help us so that our hearts, this represents our hearts, that we are combining with you, that we are submitting and surrendering to you, Lord, and then you, you grow the righteousness, Lord. Thank you that uh, you make this call to us. Help us to respond and faithfulness to Jesus. That's our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's you and I become immovable, not, uh, not sowing among thorns, and make sure that we are breaking up the fallow ground, doing new things spiritually, according to the Bible, and circumcising the foreskin of our hearts. And what blessings await us? And what blessings await you today? I don't know, but God be with you in this new day.